Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up Live Split with two PCs streaming setup uh, if you want to use an in game timer. So, for all intents and purposes, this half of the screen is going to be the gaming PC, and then this half will be the streaming PC. So, all of the downloads to these files will be in the link below. And this is just a brand new download of Live Split. So nothing has been installed yet. Then this is the server DLL. So you want to just open the folder for live split and then open the components folder and drag in the server component. Then you go back and launch live split. So to add this to the timer, you want to right click, go to edit layout, hit the plus button, control live split server. So this added the server to our layout and then go ahead while you're here, go to the layout settings and then to the server tab and you can see the IP that this is running off of. You'll need this later. Uh, you can always come back to it if you forget. So hit OK and OK. And then this is when you would install whatever in-game timer plugin you want and then set it to game time. For now we're going to leave it on real time so you can see the synchronization. So we'll go ahead and start the timer and also start the server. You have to start the server each time you launch this timer or it, these won't sync up. So this is all set up, so we'll just leave that over there. Now we're gonna set up the streaming side over here. So you open up the streaming uh, PC live split folder and drag in this to the components folder. So same as the server side, just with the client file. All right, so here's our client instance of Live Split, and to set up that component, you just right-click, Edit Layout, very similar setup, plus, and then instead of Control, we want to go to Timer, Live Split Client, and then while you're here, click on Layout Settings, go to the Live Split Client tab, and then put in the IP address of the server that you wrote down earlier, um, and then as soon as you put that information in, hit Attempt Connection. It should say connected. If it doesn't, the server is either not started or your IP address or port are wrong. Double check all that information. Um, and all of this is now saved, so it'll launch this information the next time you launch uh, the client side. Then you click OK and OK. And now set this to game time. This will always be set to game time no matter what you're doing. And hit start, and now these are synced up. So anything that happens over here will happen over here. So if the game pauses the timer or if it resets the timer because you started a new game, you'll see it's reflected over here. Now all of your splits are going to be done on the streaming side. This side is literally just for the timer. You just want to set up the timer and set it off in the background. Um, this side is where you're going to save all your splits and do all your splitting. And yep, that's it. So let me know if there's any questions. You can leave a comment or message me whatever way you know how.